fractions and types of fractions. What is a fraction? You might be seeing the fractions like 1 upon 4, but what are these? What does they mean? Numbers in this form are known as fractions. Fractions has two parts. The upper one is known as, um, we can call it top, and down and over here the B one is the bottom. But the upper one is known as the numerator, and the and the downward and the bottom one is known as the denominator. What is a numerator? What are numerators? Numerators is a number of equal parts which have been taken out or which have been left out. So now, over here you can see, just imagine that this highlighted slice of pizza is eaten and beside these are left. So the eaten one would be the numerator and the left ones would be the denominator. Understood? Similarly, in the chocolate, the red one, the highlighted one, imagine that it's eaten and imagine that the other three parts are left. So, the numerator will be 1 and the denominator are the total parts of a chocolate. Similarly, over here, um, one pizza was eaten, that's why the numerator was 1 and then... Um, in the denominator we add um, we add the eaten part also so over here that's what the denominator is a and both the words numerator and denominator are derived are derived from late latin what is denominator denominator is a total number of equal parts in which whole is divided into similarly over here you can see 1 upon 4 and again I'm repeating both the words numerator and denominator are derived from late latin you can see these pictures again it's the same example as I told you what is sorry yes why can why can't a denominator be a zero why can't a denominator be a zero didn't you people thought that why denominator can't be a zero, huh? Did not if the denominator be a zero, then the fraction will not be defined, as we cannot divide anything by zero. Okay, understood, students? Now it's a golden rule. Remember that this is a golden rule of mathematics cannot be divided into zero parts a fraction cannot be divided into zero parts okay understood okay now let's have and let's take a small quiz it would be fun isn't that so okay the question is does the shaded region correspond to the fraction this displayed so over here is the fraction of 1 upon 2 and the picture is also given then over here is the fraction of 2 upon 3 and then over here is the fraction of 1 upon 4. So over here only one fraction is the correct fraction. So you have to tell me what fraction is the correct fraction and which diagram um, corresponds to a correct fraction. 3, 2, 1, 0. You can also stop your the video to answer. Or write it in the comments so over here you can see 1 upon 2 is the correct one this one sorry this one not one of this this one was the correct fraction wait so sorry this one was the correct fraction which was 2 upon 3 okay students Okay. Now, can you again? This is a um, question. 
can you tell me why this is a wrong why this is wrong and why this is correct that's because over here the two parts are equal and over here you can see um the upper one there are three parts and in the bottom one there are only two parts okay so that's why this one is the correct one again there is a question this one is why this one is correct and why this one is not correct this one is not correct because it is not having four equal parts this again this is the golden rule that a shape in which we have to find a fraction should have a equal should have equal parts that's why over here in a circle um this part was shaded and then every part was equal also so that's why this fraction is correct okay. various types of fractions such as 9 upon 10 9 upon 100 9 upon 1000 and 9 upon 10000 the fractions which have their own denominator as as 10 or higher powers of 10 are known as decimal fractions Proper fractions are the fractions where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So over here you can see this is a proper fraction that um, the numerator is less and the denominator is more is called a proper fraction. Okay. And all these are proper fractions because the numerator is 9 and the denominators are in thousands, tens and ten thousands. So that's why. Okay. Improper fractions are the fractions where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So below are all improper fractions. Just one upon nine, six upon five, hundred upon nine, twenty-five upon nine, and five upon four. Okay. Proper fractions. Whenever we perform a normal division on a proper fraction, the answer will always be less than 1. Just over here. If we divide 1 upon 4 with each other, the answer would be 0 0.25. But if we, let's take for improper fractions. Let's treat for improper fractions. Whenever we perform a normal division on uh, improper fraction, the answer will always be more than 1. Such as if we divide 5 upon 4 with each other, the answer would be 1.25. Now, how will you divide 5 upon 4 with each other? This is an important thing. Let's see how. So, this is how you will. You will do plus 1 upon 4, again plus 1 upon 4, plus 1 upon 4, and plus 1 upon 4. Okay. Now, these are mixed fractions. A mixed fraction is simply an improper fraction written as the sum of a whole number in a proper fraction. Okay, so the mixed fraction is a proper fraction in which the denominator is bigger than the numerator and a mixed fraction has a whole number. So that's over here, we are having a whole number which is 1. You, can, you all can see. Improper fraction. So let's take a fraction 5 upon 4 and if we divide 5 upon 4 with each other, the numerator always comes inside and the denominator always comes outside as a divisor so if we divide 5 upon 4 with each other the answer would be 1 similarly so now I will tell you after dividing them how to arrange them in a fraction so the denominator stays the same Okay, so the and over here the denominator was 4. So simply we will put the denominator over here. Okay, now 1. 1. Okay, now 1. The quotient, the quotient would be the whole number, and the remainder, which is 1, would be the numerator. Understood? Improper fractions. Just five, let's say again, we'll again take 5.4 and if we convert 5.4 with mixed fraction, it will be 1 and 1.4. Mixed fractions are another way of writing improper fractions. Okay. So, 
i hope you like the video and i, I am sure you will so thank you so much have a good day bye bye stay on stage and see all my videos subscribe to all the stuff thank you so much have a good day bye bye